Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Asad and this is a channel all about cinematography, photography, tech reviews and stuff of that nature. Today I'm going to show you how I shoot on GoPro Hero 8, 9 or 10 and get the footage like this. Before we go any forward guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video and provide your feedback in the comments because that really helps the channel. So let's get started. So the problem with these tiny cameras is the sensor size. The sensor is small on these cameras and when you push it to the limit, you're not going to get like the best quality. So what I, I am going to show you today is like how I actually set my camera first of all to get the most cinematic settings and the best possible quality within the camera and then also I'm going to show you how I export the footage from Premiere Pro or like Real Steady and you know still maintain the same quality. So if you want to get like, the best quality footage on your GoPro I try to shoot like in cinematic frame rates as you can see this is at 4k 24 frame per second now if you're shooting at 24 frame per second your shutter speed should be double your frame rate another thing to maintain the shutter speed is to use a uh, ND filter like if you're using 24 frame per second you'll be using 1 over 48 second of a shutter speed and if you're in sunny condition it may be too bright so ND filter fixes that issue so you, you have ND 16 ND 8 up to ND 64 I'll leave the link in the description for GoPros and you can go check it out so let me go back to these settings again and I'll show you look at this 4k 24 frame per second and my shutter speed is 1 over 48 of a second ISO I try not to go above 200 max my sharpness I try to keep it in medium and my profile for color is always flat because I apply my own color grading afterwards now one setting that makes all the difference is the bitrate it, it is usually standard by default when you start uh, shooting but if you want to get like the best quality footage out of this thing you need to have this at high all the time now that we figured out uh, how to maintain settings in the camera I'm gonna also show you how I export in uh, Premiere Pro I'm also gonna show you my process in Real Steady Co so let's get started so I'm in Premiere Pro right now as you can see I am just gonna quickly select my in and out points and then I'm gonna go to file export I'm gonna click media I'm gonna quickly double check my format and my preset is good and then we will go into the video settings as you can see I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna select this checkbox render at maximum depth and the other thing which is the most important one is the target bitrate again so I am gonna try to go as high as I can usually for DSLR cameras I try to stick between 100 to 80 depending upon what I'm doing but for GoPros or like you know Insta 360s or any Osmo pocket cameras I try to go at the maximum one so this is gonna give you the best quality but the downside is the file size is gonna be big so but uh, this is how I get like my footage for YouTube now I'm also going to show you the same thing in Real Steady Go. So Real Steady is the software that I use when I'm not using the Hyper Smooth on GoPro. I just use this and stabilize my footage using this. So again, I go in the file here and you see the bitrate setting here. I just make sure that that is the high, highest I can select. So guys, if you've learned anything of value from today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, provide your feedback in the comments down below and you know, check some other content on my channel and you know, provide your feedback on other videos as well. On that note, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.